Good morning. Thank you, Amita, and thank you, CII, and compliments to CII for organizing the conference on a roadmap to Atmanirbhar Bharat in renewable energy. And I think the emphasis is renewable energy. Uh, today is 14th of July, 2022. Uh, I'm just imagining uh, we'll possibly have a conference on 31st of December, 2030. And I think there'll be a great opportunity for us to celebrate that we made 350 gigawatt of uh, achievement of renewable energy. And I think that's the task before us, that how do we empower ourselves? How do we get together? We have today Secretary MNRE, who is the guiding light for the renewable energy sector in the country. And then we have all the industry leaders who are here uh, on the dais, in the audience. We have ambassador, we have our uh, colleagues from various other sectors, including embassies uh, from the press. And I think it's a very, very important and critical day for us where we need to start working towards our goal of 2030 and 350 gigawatt. It's a very tough task, having seen that how in last few years, we have had a run rate of 12 to 15 gigawatt capacity additions. If in next eight and a half years, we need to achieve 350 from our present 110 gigawatt, we need to really run very fast. It would be something like adding 40 gigawatt there has to be a paradigm shift in the way that we work. And we are all on the same page, on the same side, if we have to achieve. Whether it is in terms of setting up utility scale power plants, it is setting up manufacturing, it is finding a solution for storage and hydrogen. I think we need to work towards that. It is also an opportunity that we reach out and make the paradigm shift in the way energy can be supplied on a distributed basis. There's a lot of opportunity on rooftop solar. There's a lot of opportunity on solar pumps. There's a lot of opportunity on microgrids and how we can empower the customers, the people, whether it, they are in cities or they are in rural areas. And I think there are a whole lot of things that has to be done and it has to be done yesterday, not today or tomorrow. There, there's something that we need to start running very, very fast. There are some things which are short term, which we need to do immediately. It cannot wait. We, I was yesterday discussing with some people and uh, they were talking that uh, uh, in last three years, 50 gigawatt of uh, utility scale projects have been ordered out, uh, out of which 10 gigawatt PPAs have not been signed, but 40 gigawatt PPAs have been signed. And uh, the discussion was that we'll possibly in this year do 15 gigawatt. I don't know whether to feel happy or to feel sad about it. If we have 40 gigawatt, then 40 gigawatt has to come. And why it cannot come? What are the challenges? Is it the ALMM extension that has to be done or the grandfathering of the BCD has to be done? Or how do we uh, enable the, the developers, the investors to ensure that these projects come in next 12 months. And how do we enhance more projects coming up, whether it is the RPO obligation, whether it is made mandatory and enforced it. Now, those are the type of things that we need to do. How do we also transition till such time our manufacturing gets ready? Uh, many of our projects uh, have already started uh, implementing the manufacturing facility, whether it is for cell module, or wafers or polysilicon, they will take time. It will not happen. So how do we transition for next 12 months to 18 months to 24 months? How do we create the necessary infrastructure and support facilities? Because it's not that the policies have to be to prevent. It cannot be a barrier. It has to be facilitator in creating the opportunity. And how do we come up with quick fix policy decisions whereby many of these projects which are languishing for international prices going up, how do we make them happen? So I think there is a huge agenda before us. There is a huge task. Uh, the Indian industry is very gungo about it. It's uh, really looking at this opportunity. The world is looking at this opportunity. In fact, 
uh, investors globally, uh, whether they are private equity investors, sovereign funds, everyone is talking about the opportunity that India provides. And it can be a game changer. India can be the leader. And I think, uh, and I personally believe that uh, this is a decade for India, especially to drive the renewable energy. And this is an opportunity for all of us to rise much more than our capability to do extraordinary things. I'm sure with the type of support that we get from everyone and the stakeholders who are involved in it, this is definitely achievable. But uh, we need to work. Uh, we all have 24 hours a day. I hope we get 28 and 30 hours a day to make this happen. But I'm sure uh, this is an agenda that we all have. We are proud that we can uh, think about it and make it happen. But it requires huge amount of hard work and huge amount of commitment and huge amount of collaboration. I'm looking forward to very exciting times in this decade to really transform the way the energy can be produced and we can really show the world that what we say, we mean it and we deliver it on it. Thank you. Thank you very much.